I want to tell you a little bit about what the patient transport service is about. You will hear loads of myths and rumours that even when it moves to Arriva, it will do the same job with the same people. Absolute rubbish. Mm. That will not be the case. Currently, our staff are not what I call drivers or patient transport drivers. They're committed professionals through and through. They don't look after patients as we label them. They look after your grandfather, grandmother, mother, father, son, daughter. And they do it very, very well. They don't just pull up at the door and say, there you go, Miss Jones, off you go. They go in and make sure they're safe, secure, there's food in the cupboard and a brew on the table for them. They do that on a daily basis. When they go and pick them up in the morning and they're not ready, they get them ready. They clean them and wash them. This isn't in the contract. It's something our people do daily because they care about people. And that is the part a reader will not deliver. A reader will say, you drop them at the door and goodbye. That, that contract will not say, do what you do currently. Closing. I mean, somebody mentioned it earlier, but they are now talking about ending the district general hospital system where you have a hospital in every town and several hospitals in a city. They're saying that's old fashioned and very 20th century. And what we need to do is we need to have a few super hospitals that you might have to travel miles and miles to get. Well, to be honest, who's going to take you those miles and miles when you're not well? The ambulance service. And that's the very service that they're now talking about putting in the hands of a private company. And I think people will be outraged when people in Bolton found out that our A&E is under threat. And once your A&E goes, to be honest, your hospital follows fairly soon afterwards. People were outraged. We've got mass meetings tomorrow and we intend to go out to the public and campaign. I think we need to link together the defence of the ambulances with the uh, privatisation of uh, 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 Bioreva, with the defence of the hospitals generally. To be honest, Virgin Trains lost a contract to run the West Coast Line on a tendering process. There was protest by the rich and the rich won that contract back. Well, Arriba Red Transport have won this uh, ambulance contract. Well, let's do some protests by the poor. Let's say to them, you're not having our ambulance service, you're not having our money, you're not having our health service, because we want it for the people who need it, and we want somebody who can afford to give you the extra minute to get you ready, rather than leave you because you're not 